Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome to a ridiculous rant video about the DLC, the amazing, the best DLC I've ever experienced in Samurai's 5. Yes, I was being completely sarcastic because, let's be honest here, what the fuck was did I just play? Like seriously, what the fuck was this? Like seriously, like these are the dumbest DLC I've probably ever played. Not one of them are hypothetical um, uh, battles. Like none of these are hypothetical levels. Like I would have loved to prefer that instead of all these that are mainly competition. Like legit, like this one is just to go fucking find food. Like are you kidding me? Like you legit go hunting just to go find some food. This one, oh you play as a witchy. Which you some other female characters and you learn how to clean and you learn how to do house chores for your husband. Like <sighs> I cannot believe I wasted my money on this. I want my money back. Seriously, I want my money back. I've played them all and these are just the dumbest DLC I've ever experienced. And by the way, I actually completed this. This, this was supposed to be a DLC, and I'll and I say that because these are a lot better than, these levels are a lot better than, than this, I mean seriously, like come on, what is Tecmo Koei even thinking? Like this is the worst type of DLC that I've ever experienced in any Warriors game. Like at least with like Dynasty Warriors 8 or even Summer Wars 4 for example, like yes, yeah, so they'll have some dumb like competition stages like this where you basically race to the finish or finish line or something like that but at least they have some that are hypothetical scenarios like hypothetical battles like at least there's, there's some there that that lets you do that like I know there's a stage in Samurai's Fall 2 where Nobunaga lives at Honoji and he basically fights everyone that betrayed him in something and and and, and like I know that I know I did a video on that on YouTube like a while back, I, it's it's in there somewhere, so just hook it up, um, but seriously, and, and and there was another stage where, you know, a what if scenario of, you know, saving Mitsuhide at the Battle of Sekigahara, and, you know, just, and, you know, just finishing off the Togugawa, like, unfortunately, you don't get that here, you don't get any anything like that, like, I wanted to, I would have loved to see a what if scenario where, Yoshimoto Imagawa, for example, like, what if he won the Battle of Okehasama and Hasama and that? Like, I would have liked to see an extra stage there, you know? Or maybe, or maybe what happens if Michihede survived at Battle of Yamasaki? Like, you don't get any of that. You don't. Like, this is ridiculous. Like, like instead, all these are competition ones. Like, this one right here, who's the smartest in the land, this one I hate the most. Because basically, this is this is sort of sort of game, this is sort of like a game show, like a bloody quiz show, or something that Hanbei Takanaka hosts, and you gotta basically answer all these questions correctly, otherwise it's game over. Like legit, like I legit had to cheat online because I didn't know some of the answers, so I had to cheat look them look them up online. Thankfully, I found some answers, but still, like this one is a joke. This one is the worst one of all, and you know what, this one's pretty hard too, because, you know, I had to do this one three times, legit, three times, and I nearly chucked my, rem my remote, like, this one's a, this one's a trial one, Let, let's see who's the strongest right hand man, let's see who's the strongest in the land, this one is basically just see, just to see who's the strongest in the land, legit, and, like, none of these are mainly, like, hypothetical what-if battles. And that's really disappointing. Like, again, I'll say this, again. This should have been DLC. I would have been okay with this. Like, I would have wasted my money on this. Instead of this. What a joke. What a absolute joke. Anyway, that's it. I just needed to rant about it and get off my chest. I told someone that I was going to rant about this, so if, you, so if you see this video, my friend, here it is. I mean, uh, like, I didn't even, uh, like, I didn't even say, tell you ideas on, 
on here or your like sarcastic ideas on here because I don't want to give because I don't want someone from Tetmaco watching this and actually getting the ideas because believe me if they did that you would have had the right to probably sue them <laughs> but yeah I mean uh What a joke. What a joke. And you know what? Towards the end, I just didn't really bother completing all objectives because they are just so dumb. Like, these so-called battles, they're not even... Like, like I said, they're not even battles. They're just competitions. And, like, sort of like game shows. They treat us as, treat us as, as if this is a bloody game show. Like... <sighs> anyway, I'm just... I just need to get this off my chest because I'm fuming. I want, I want my money back. I do. I really want my money back because this was this was part of the season pass. <sighs> anyway, that's it. I suppose. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And um, yeah, thanks for listening to my rant. <laughs> See ya.